Okay, so welcome to another Bitwig device tutorial and on this one we need to talk about the globals. Uh, it's a very simple thing but it's a little bit weird and you might never use it in your life because maybe you didn't know that it existed or you know uh, why using it or why you know how to use it. But now you will know and it's very very useful, it's just a very useful thing. So I'm gonna go and just bring it and again this is a modulator, right? So I'm gonna go and say that I want to bring that globals, so globals. So the, with the globals, you get three different things and they do three completely different things. You get the fill, the AB and the play, All right? I'm going to start with the most simple one, which is going to be the play. So the play, it means that something will, this one will start when we do play. And when we stop, it's going to stop. So notice I do play, it goes white. And if I stop, it goes blue or light blue. So maybe I'm going to say, you know, or you could assume that, uh, all right, so I'm going to go and do some modulation right there. So I'm going to go and play. And notice that it's going there. And when I stop it, it's going back. So this is very useful with some, you know, some applications. For example, when you have a synthesizer that is a very noisy. So when you're stopped and it's still producing noise in the background, you can just, you know, kill the volume or kill the noise with the play. Right, that's maybe one of the applications that you can do. And I, I actually have the perfect example of this. Let me just uh, turn it off. I'm going to go and bring the DX7. The, this is from Arturio. And what they did, they modeled the uh, original sound that comes uh, from the synthesizer. And you can actually see the sound. If I go right there, um, of course, I need to introduce some volume. Notice that, that is the volume. Notice all the noise, the low noise. And that's just noise. When you compress your tracks, and you do well, everything else, you can notice some noise in the background. And this is what this is. It's everything, you know, all the low floor noise being hyped. So the fill can heal, it can, uh, can, uh, can help you out right here. So I'm going to go bring the globals, globals. And I'm going to say, all right, so by default, the volume is going to be down. But as soon as I do play, I really want you to uh, do something like this on the volume, you know, just go up in volume and notice that now we have no noise but as soon as i do play we get the sound and when i stop we stop and there's no noise if i disable this one we are gonna get that noise uh supposedly oh we get because of course the volume is down but as soon as i put it normal we get the noise which sucks right so this is you know again one of the applications of this of this of the play in globals Oh no, no noise. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, let me just delete this. So I'm gonna go back to the polysynth. And another usage of this is that you can control your other mod devices, your modulators, and uh, you can control them when you're playing. Let's say, for example, I'm gonna go to the classical FO, right? So I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna say, when uh, we do something, we're gonna be constantly going up and, uh, you know, up and down, or maybe just up. And now the synthesizer is going up the whole time. And again, this might, you know, produce some background noise. It depends on the synthesizer. So what you want to do, maybe I want to say, okay, so the amount is going to be zero. By default, we are going to make the, just do no modulation. But as soon as I do play, I want the modulation to begin. So I'm going to go and do play. And this is going to start. And as soon as I stop, it's just going to kill that one. Now, of course, right now, I'm just giving you the amount example, but you could do the RAID, you can do the uh, phase or other, you know, other the modulators, right? Main point is that it will do something when you play. Either, either you, you will start or you will kill the, uh, the modulation. This is what the play is. Now, then you have the other modes. And these ones are a little bit different. Now, I'm going to go and just remove this. Okay. So the fill is pretty much the same idea. But it's a global control. And maybe you didn't know that this existed. If I go right here to the top, you have a play button. And notice that you have a bunch of options. One is going to be called fill, used by operators. And, and you think, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? So right here, if you pin it, you can pin it right here. What you can do with this one, you can toggle on, on some modulators or you can toggle off and you toggle them globally. Yeah. So, okay. So let me just give you the same example right now. If I do some playing, there's no modulation, right? 
But what I want to do, I want to go and do a 100%. So we do have a modulation, right? But maybe I want to do an AB or I just want to disable some of the modulators while I'm mixing or, you know, doing an arrangement. So I'm going to go to the fill and I'm going to say that when I turn the fill on, this modulation is just going to shut up. I'm going to turn it on and it's killing it. That's the whole point. So if you have five, uh, four different tracks using, you know, with synths or whatever, and you're using some kind of modulations and at one point you want to kill them or you want to modify them because right now we are just going 100% but maybe I can do just a little bit just by uh, you know turning the uh, clicking the button on and off it's going to change the nature of that modulation and you can this is going to listen pretty much to everything so if I go right here and just duplicate this one you know we are, we are going to get the same sound of course but this one, I don't know, it's gonna go faster, whatever. And then I'm gonna pull, go and put this one in the, in the left, and this one in the right, so we can, you know, hear the difference. And maybe again, this one is just a little bit too... Uh, let me just kill it right here. This is a natural sound. But maybe it's just, you know... All of this is just too much, right? So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go again to the fill and I'm gonna say, you know what? I want, I want that. I want, I just want uh, a little bit less. I'm gonna go right here and do the same. I'm gonna do the fill and do a little bit less. So by default, it's gonna be this weird sound. And just by clicking uh, one thing, we're gonna change the nature of all the modulators linked to the fill. That's the whole point. That's why you get it. Right. Easy, right? Easy. And it's actually pretty useful because sometimes you just want to make some changes and you want to make them on the fly and you just, you know, you're just changing a lot of uh, different tracks, a lot of different modulators or just properties at once. It's just impossible. But now you can with a fill. So, okay. So let me just, you know, go maybe there gonna go and do something different because now I need to show you the a B and this is kind of a weird to explain because I need to explain a different thing uh, about uh, you know about this if I go uh, to the help it says uh, cr you know global crossfade modulators blah 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 crossfade is available from either uh, mixer panel when uh, it be, uh, its view toggle is enabled the ab icon the what so yeah first uh, i need to show you that in order to show you what this does because if, if you don't know you're just not gonna know okay so i'm gonna go over right here and this is the sound of the first one right and this one i'm gonna make it darker and i'm gonna go to the other one and I'm gonna go not that crazy I'm just gonna do I don't know faster but not that fast and I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna do it like that and lower the volume so now what I'm doing is just using the same instrument but now this is the not so harsh and this is the harsh right now just like Ableton or Bitwick, they started uh, as a as a live per performance tool, not as a production uh, kind of a tool. So you get live performances, uh, performance uh, tools, um, or you know, just yeah, just uh, workflows. So if I go to the mix, which is something that you might not know, uh, on the mix you get a lot of things. And notice that I have everything enabled. So what you can do, you can just go right here and disable everything. And the mix is just gonna be bare bone, you know, it's just gonna delete or just hide all the things. And, you know, taking the uh, long road right here. So you get, you know, right here, the uh, Paulson, for example, you get the chords one, and this one I'm gonna rename it and make it chords two. Okay, so right now, uh, we have two, right? The one and the two. Cool. So the thing is that sometimes when you're doing a live performance, what you can do, you can go and enable a button that calls show crossfades. 
And the main point of all of this is that you might have some instruments on the A side and some instruments on the or tracks on the B side. So this means that when you play it, if this crossfade is on, you know, at 50%, you're gonna be listening this one and this one. But if I go to the left, we get the first one. And if I go to the right, we just get the other one, right? And notice that when, I, when I'm moving right here, which is the AB, this one goes white. So the, the main point of the modulator is that whenever you go A or you go B, you can change the behavior of something that is happening right here. So, for example, I'm going to go and I'm going to say, okay, so when we go to B, I want to kind of uh, introduce or just ramp up the volume, right? So I'm on A, right? I'm not doing anything. We get the same sound. Now on B... If I start go to B, we don't get it just right away. We start crossfading. And now the filter is going to start slowly going up. Before, it was just, you know, all the way in. Right? Notice, as soon as we are here, we are listening pretty much every, all the modulation. Let me just mute this one for now. We are listening to this. Now I'm going to go and say we go brighter as we go go towards the B side. And hopefully you, you know, you're understanding this. Notice, we get the same thing. And as I go up, we get more because that's what the instruction we, uh, we are providing to this one. So, what this means is that when you go to the A, do something, and when you go to the B, do something, and the amount is going to be controlled by the crossfade. Now, of course, you can do... Uh, uh, you can even control this one, you know, maybe it's too fast and you want a kind of a slow introduction. Okay, so I'm going to go and use time. You know, it's kind of a too fast, or maybe I'm going to go slow. Right there. And as soon as we crossfade more to the B side, I'm going to be ramping this up by, like crazy. Okay, so we are on the A side. We just get this one. And as soon as we go to the B, we get more of the B. But if I go more and more, we're going to get more. Now, maybe it's just way too much. But that's the whole point. Now, you might not use this in your life. Because, again, this is a life performance tool. If you use it for a life performance, I mean, Bitwig, uh, this is useful. This is very useful. But if you don't use it, you just use it as a production, you know, environment. Eh, maybe it's just not that useful. But you get it. You know? now, now you know what it does. Now you know what it is and that you might never use it in your life. Or maybe that you're going to uh, use it the whole time. All right, so that's it. That's the globals. The fill, very useful kind of a thing to turn off and turn off or do whatever you said you want on a more global scale. And the play, we will do something only when you do the play, uh, the play on the transport. And the AB is for, you know, the CrossFit. So, okay, so hopefully you uh, learned something on this one and uh, you understood everything, hopefully. And remember to like and subscribe because if you just don't like and you don't subscribe, the channel dies. And if you don't like, uh, how would I know that you like these videos and you want more, right? Just just go and just do like. And uh, remember to check Patreon uh, as well. So, okay. So, see you on the next one.